So this book here is The Bronze Age Mindset by Bronze Age Pervert. So I read this book from front to back and this is going to be my thoughts and my book review. Uh, more like a book opinion on this uh, book here. So I wrote down something, so I'm gonna be reading from it. Um, this book honestly gave me psychedelic feelings and insights. Uh, no other book has ever made me feel this. And let me explain. So when I was reading this, I read it on Kindle. Um, I can't think of the price right now, but I was reading it on Kindle and I would read it before bed. And there was times where I'm sitting there in bed, literally reading this book. And I felt like I was in a vortex, you know, like that black and white vortex where like they say you, you when you take psychedelics, like you're going into the rabbit hole. That's how it, like I remember reading it word like each word would take me deeper and deeper as I was reading I remember feeling like whoa this is weird like this is straight I've never felt this with any other book but this book I think it happened maybe three four times where I was just reading and it was just like something about the words the way he explains and and it's a tough read like the author <laughs> is Around this time, I was like, oh, I've never seen Planet of the Apes. Let me start from the beginning. Let me start watching all these Planet of the Apes. It felt like I was reading Caesar. <laughs> I felt like I was he uh, hearing Caesar talk. Like, that's the way he ta he talks very like a monkey that just learned how to speak. No offense to the author. I'm His style of writing. And I could tell English is not his first language. But I just, it, it, I don't know if that had something to do with it. But it was just mind-blowing. Um... And the book was powerful. It was powerful in the sense where it literally gave me like a psychedelic feel to it. Um, uh, what else did I write here? I felt like I was in the mind of a crazy person. Like this author could come out, come off as crazy. And even some stories he tells about himself, I'm like, okay, this guy is like, he's not normal. Like he thinks a little bit off the grid and I think that's what makes this book so special because a lot of things he says is truth and I found was truth and it was like hearing things for the first time and I was like whoa like you know like that crazy guy sometimes you're taking the subway or the train and he's like talking random stuff but he's saying like real things that are true like it felt like I was inside the mind of one when I was reading his book his thoughts but that's just to show how different this author is with reading books and I don't read books like this I'm very like I like reading business books self-discovery books but this book was recommended by a friend and after hearing an interview by Neil deGrasse he said he likes to read books about topics he's not aware of just to learn you know it's good to listen to other people's perspectives so I figured this book was the perfect timing my friend recommended it to me and I was like okay I'm doing this you know I'm gonna read no matter how difficult it might be or how uninteresting it turned out being very interesting and I finished all the way through not because I was forced but because I actually wanted to complete the book uh what else did I write I said that reality transurfing was similar but not on this level in terms of like Kind of breaking my my world frame the way i go about life reality transurfing really changed my life in different ways but this one was like we i had a psychedelic experience reading it and i'm not even <laughs> i'm not even joking curious to see what you guys think about the book in the comment section how did this book come off how did you experience this book what was like you know your inner thoughts what do you think you gained the most and what was most interesting about this perspective of the book I'm super curious. Um, I had a friend that listened to it on audiobook. He hasn't read it. So I'm also curious like how different it is on audiobook versus reading it. I'm not sure if I will listen to it on audiobook, but I enjoyed reading it. So I'm curious if you guys done both, if there is any difference in the audiobook versus reading it. Um, and just a heads up, if you haven't heard of this book or you are going to read it, it's going to be difficult. It's not like a natural... A book to read the author is not like I don't think I believe he's from Romania um, and it's clear that it's not his first language so the grammar it, it, it can throw you off he uses a lot of words that I had to use a dictionary to read it and Kindle has that option where you could just highlight a word it tells you the meaning it's all super helpful um, yeah so his wording is will might throw you off 
anyways i hope you guys um read this book if you haven't um and then comment on the comment section below send me an email christianboy at gmail.com if you want to talk about the book we can hop on a phone call i'm super curious to see what people think and what they learned from the book to see if there's different perspectives than what i got from it and if you also had a psychedelic experience that'd be super crazy to see if somebody else also um, felt that way while reading the book anyways hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next video peace out